Those who come to study dance and wish to dedicate their life to it must truly live and breathe ballet. I can do it. I want to do it. I've got so much desire and energy. And I hope that in 20 years time I'll still be dancing. To be successful in any creative profession, you have to be fanatical about what you do. You won't get anywhere otherwise. That's my opinion. What is Nika for me? For me, she is a spiritual and human being. The collaboration between us began with me taking a great liking to her as a person. She is charming and extremely kind. She was quite simply a wonderful child. But then that child started to want success. And that child started to achieve things. Ludmila Kabalova is a great teacher. She's the most extraordinary, most outstanding. In a word, everything that goes into the concept of the most, all of that includes my remarkable teacher. Nikolai Tsiskaridze once showed us the ballet Raimonda with choreography by George Balanchine. We watched it and we liked it, but who was going to dance it? Tsiskaridze said that a representative of the George Balanchine Trust, Darla Hubert, was going to come and see us. We were to prepare several groups of soloists and she, Darla, would select one. We were asked to perform Balanchine's Raimonda. A repetitio from the Balanchine Trust traveled to St. Petersburg to see us at the Academy and started rehearsing the lead role with me and one other girl. This style was something totally new and unfamiliar to us. When Darla showed and told us what to do, we were stunned and even a little scared. How could we do it? How? When Darla arrived, she chose Nika as part of the primary cast. She took a great liking to her. There was a smile on her face when Nika was dancing. She was beaming. The final rehearsals were taking place before the premiere of Raimonda, and only then did they tell us who would dance which role and when. So we rehearsed everything with two groups right up until the end, almost until the very last day. I think there's a radiance about Nika and a beauty. She's no simpleton on the stage. There's something aristocratic and regal about her. Thank 
When I was selecting the repertoire and allocating the roles, I divided them up in such a way that all the talented graduates would be in prominent positions and able to show off their professional skills. Renata Shakirova. I steered her towards a particular repertoire. Right leg, yes, on we go, one, two, and three, take your leg away. And she takes her leg away. Renata is a remarkable girl. As a pupil, she has rare qualities. She's very receptive, hardworking, and intelligent. She's been in my class for five years. Tatiana Udalenkova is someone I feel very close to. She always said to me, Renata, just dance. Dance from the soul the way I know you can. Renata was always very artistic. She always had that stubbornness, that hardworking attitude and desire to dance. I was once walking along the corridor of the academy, and Nikolai Tsiskaridze was coming towards me. He stopped me and said, Renata, I was just thinking, how would you like to beat Lorencia in the graduation performance? My tutor and I agreed straight away. Lorencia is a wonderful role. It is so vivid and colorful. It suits my character down to the ground. The mere thought of dancing that part made me want to jump up and down and run around. I felt this injection of energy. With each student from the graduation class to whom I've given a leading role, I've tried to bring them on in such a way that in the future, the work that they've done in the last two years of school will pay off and serve them well in the theater. Look at me, boys. You adopt the pose. The left hand is free, and then you turn. I can confidently state, knowing what's going on in the ballet world, that no one has ever left school with such a strong repertoire under their belts as these young dancers. When we were rehearsing with Nikolai Tsiskaridze and Ludmila Kavalova working in tandem, it was something very special. To this day, I still think about it, and to be honest, I miss it a great deal, because to have that kind of flash of energy, that explosion, that drive, which makes you dance exactly the way you should, that's something you wouldn't find anywhere other than at school. In our profession, you have to be very ambitious. You have to strive with all your might to achieve the goal you've set yourself. I give all the pupils exactly the same thing. Come on, come and take it. But each of them is capable of taking away only as much as the gift they have allows.